Did you come really fast? Me? Tell me. Tell me what happened. Um, they tried. They open. They ring the door and they have guns. They shoot my mom and dad. Right now? Yeah. Can you come really fast? Bring some cops. Um. Okay. Let and me let me and have them come out of them. We often believe we'd stay calm and brave in tough situations. But the reality is, most of us would panic due to fear. However, this wasn't the case for Carlos, a seven-year-old who faced a terrible event and proved that age doesn't always define courage. What he accomplished will amaze you. Welcome back to Storyscape. Before we get into today's video, take a moment to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to also hit that notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Carlos Ramirez was a regular seven-year-old boy from Norwalk, California. Living in the cozy town with his parents, Mrs. Margarita and Mr. Jose Ramirez, and his six-year-old sister Emma, Carlos enjoyed a quiet life. His family owned a popular coffee shop, Gold Espresso, in downtown. Known for its strong presence in the community, the Ramirez family had never faced any issues with neighbors or customers. However, Little did they know that their peaceful life would soon take a difficult turn. Despite warnings from his mother about potential legal issues due to his age, Carlos found joy in assisting at the coffee shop. Whether it was cleaning, helping in the kitchen, or contributing to dessert preparations, Carlos's eagerness to help surpassed any concerns his mother expressed. His bond with the family business kept him dedicated, even if it meant staying behind the bar or working in the kitchen. Carlos had a dream of becoming a successful pastry chef, finding joy in watching his mother bake delightful desserts. Despite his eagerness, his mother would gently remind him to focus on homework and studies, reassuring him that there would be a time for him to make his own cakes. Encouraging him to go home, she would tempt him with a piece of chocolate peanut cake waiting in the fridge, hoping to divert his attention from sneakily reading old recipe books every afternoon. I'll prove my dream of being a cook is real, Mom. It's never too early to start, and I promise I'll be back. Love you. See you tonight." With a kiss on his mother's cheek, Carlos grabbed his school bag and dashed out. This routine was typical for the Ramirez family, a seemingly ordinary and harmonious household. Both parents were exemplary, earning the admiration of those who knew them. The children, aged seven and six, had never been in trouble, with Carlos excelling in school, and Emma being a delightful child focused on play and family time. Despite being a kind, hard-working family with no criminal record, the Ramirez's faced one of life's most harrowing experiences. In a situation where survival and protecting loved ones became paramount, young Carlos emerged as the unexpected hero. Facing a life-or-death scenario, he had to act swiftly to ensure the safety of his family. On a typical day in Norwalk, which happened to be a holiday, the Ramirez family was all at home. Things were going smoothly as Margarita, Carlos's mother, served up her tasty chocolate pancakes for breakfast. The family eagerly waited in their seats, but their mealtime was abruptly disrupted. Three masked men armed with assault rifles barged into the house by forcing open the unlocked door. In their small, tight-knit neighborhood where everyone knew each other, such incidents were unprecedented, making the unlocked door a significant oversight. In just moments, the family's peaceful breakfast turned into a frightening situation. Three masked men entered, threatening the family with guns and demanding compliance. The parents were cornered in the kitchen, forced to kneel and plead for their lives. Mr. Ramirez, with his hands tied, explained their humble status as coffee shop owners, pleading for mercy. Despite their pleas, one of the men forcefully silenced Mr. Ramirez, asserting control over the situation. Things were spiraling out of control quickly. The assailants grew more nervous, and it felt like gunfire could erupt at any moment. Searching for valuables, they found little, as the family, though living in a nice house, wasn't wealthy. Realizing their mistake, the attackers became even more tense. Unbeknownst to them, the house was home to one of the brightest and quickest children. Carlos acted swiftly, grabbing his six-year-old sister and escaping upstairs without being noticed. 
They locked themselves in the bathroom, and thanks to practicing emergencies with his mother, the seven-year-old knew exactly what to do. While the intruders were downstairs, Carlos called 911, and that call changed everything. During his 911 call, Carlos urgently reported, There are guys in my house. They broke in. They're going to kill my mom and dad. Can you please come really fast? They're going to kill us all. Monique Patino, a Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputy, was on the other end of the line. She later admitted that the call was distressing, recalling the chilling sounds of Carlos's sister's screams. Carlos informed Monique about the armed intruders threatening his parents, pleading for a swift police response. He spoke quietly to avoid detection, and his little sister's crying was audible during the call. Unfortunately, the situation took a turn for the worse when Carlos abruptly cut off communication with the police. Monique tried to reassure Carlos that the police were on their way and they would soon be safe. However, the call was abruptly interrupted by the screams of the two children. The police urgently asked, Carlos, are you there? Are you still with me? It's the assailants. They've discovered you. Carlos, answer. If you hear me, answer. Realizing the boy and his sister were in grave danger, time was running out, and it was uncertain if the police would arrive in time to prevent the worst. The armed assailants had noticed someone else in the house. When questioned, the parents, who said nothing about the children in the photographs, falsely claimed they were at a relative's for the weekend. My children aren't here. It's just me and my wife in the house. I assure you, you won't find anything up there. Please take whatever you want and don't hurt us pleaded Carlos's father to the assailants, realizing they were about to discover where his children were hiding. The apparent leader didn't believe him and ordered the others to check upstairs. It took only five minutes for them to find Carlos and his sister locked in the bathroom. The house fell silent as Carlos hugged his little sister, trying to stay quiet. Suddenly, there was a loud bang as the bathroom door came down. There, they found Carlos and his sister, questioning him about who they had been talking to. In fear, Carlos had forgotten to hide the phone. Instead of continuing to deceive them or attempting to escape, the boy did something truly remarkable. He bravely admitted he had called the police. I just spoke to a police officer. I don't think it'll take them more than five minutes to get here. You won't have time to run away. They'll catch you and you'll spend the rest of your time in jail, Carlos said firmly while holding on to his sister. The three men were startled. Upon hearing the police were coming, they rushed downstairs, informed their leader, and swiftly left the house within a minute, leaving everything behind. Thanks to a brave seven-year-old, a potentially tragic situation was averted. Captain Pat Maxwell from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department praised the child's courage, considering it worthy of a merit badge. The police arrived five minutes later and Carlos's mother and younger sister went to the hospital due to extreme nervousness. Health workers offered psychological help to Carlos and his father, who claimed to be okay. Carlos hoped to put the day's nightmare behind him, avoiding interviews and seeking normalcy for his family. His act of heroism gained widespread attention. His actions were a selfless act of love, the purest form that only someone with a genuinely pure heart can experience. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you have yet to do so. Be sure to also hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss out on our upcoming videos. Courage sometimes comes in small packages, like this seven-year-old from California. I'd like to uh, introduce our hero from yesterday's 911 call that uh, may have saved his family's life. His name is Carlos. Carlos, a second grader from Norwalk, California, had a good reason for missing school yesterday morning. Three armed men entered his home through an unlocked front door. They had guns and threatened his mom and dad.